Police are taking to the streets of Ferguson with the resources of a small army. Not tonight, but in past nights. KMBC's Haley Harrison investigates and says it's raising concerns about the firepower of local law enforcement. Well, that is exactly right, Laura. Uncle Sam has given local law enforcement agencies nearly $5 billion worth of battlefield equipment through the 1033 program. Now, in the last year, there has been a surge of armored vehicles into American police and sheriff's departments, including some right here in the metro. Police descend onto the streets of Ferguson from the safety of an armored vehicle. It was bought by local police, but similar military grade versions of these are going from Afghanistan to small town America. They're called MRAPs, short for Mine Resistant Ambush Protected, built to withstand an IED blast. Starting last August, the Pentagon made them available for free to SWAT teams nationwide through a congressionally mandated program. In the Missouri Metro, Buchanan, Clay, Cass, and Bates counties, and the city of Joplin have recently acquired MRAPs. There are 20 statewide. But none in St. Louis County, where police and protesters are clashing. The 1033 program also provides agencies with vehicles, weapons, and tactical gear. A Pentagon spokesman tells us a small number of those items are now at use in St. Louis County. A half dozen Humvees, 12 M16s, six pistols, and a helicopter. A Georgia congressman today announced that he will lead an effort to demilitarize local law enforcement agencies. The USA Today said that the Pentagon has flooded Ferguson with arms. But a Pentagon spokesman that I talked to tonight says they take exception to that. Local law enforcement agencies with MRAPs say they use them during natural disasters, severe weather, and in barricade situations. 